Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG and on the last episode we did a series sewers and pop bellum. Um in this episode we're gonna probably meet up with Bob Fuchsius. <clears throat> Bellum must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. <laughs> this is an immediate swerve course. Why, of course, the crash course on You'll start off the first step of all. Use the control pad to move left or right and score points. Press B. Press B to make a little light cake when you get the point. On the way, there are a few traps as to what will happen. Go will just keep that. Keep that. Right. Now, off you go. Do, do, do. These guys won't attack you, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I didn't know you can give flower point there. Now for the barrel jumping event. Make some pointers, sure why not. Time for your jump, time your jump, and grab one along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they close. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you out on your way. I also gotta tell you, leap over the fish that pops up, or you'll lose some points. Wasn't that funny? You got 43 coins. Take the coins you got. Media support. Rare for frog coins. The first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 or. You know, frog coins are the green ones and tackle coins. Fine. I'm more into one of them. You have 43 coins, but that's not enough to catch and sell them. Okay? I'm back into the game. Yeah. 
Goes in there, picked up, you can't keep it, and then we'll do it. We got a knock knock shell. Um, I think this is a weapon for Mario. Yeah, it's a little better than the uh, turtle shell that I have. Now for a tadpole pond. Hi, can I help you? Hello, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with my and Super Mario. You guys do have fun, right? You know about that? See, my other waterways of the world been a snooze test here. That's why Grandpa knows all the things I fit to you. Are you really a super high? Hey, everybody, no one never gets his name. He's a real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I tell you. They do say he can jump better than the froggy. I wonder if that. What would your ass happen? What's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rain stone you just had. That was you, wasn't it? Ouch. <laughs> What's that? You're supposed to be making me, making me look like I'm flooding you, okay? Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I frog precious. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I have been waiting for you. Yes, all wise, but you can often give good advice. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Fear for research. Okay, folks, don't just flip them. Make yourself useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see, a sneaky kid would that be a boundless cow's keep and it's quite formidable, yes. And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But, oh, if only you knew the key. Don't screw him along with the air. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here's what happened. You were rescuing Coachstone for Bowser's key. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash, and saw you sort of the Whoosh, that was blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Coachstone are still lost somewhere out there. Now, you're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His other things are wreaking havoc in our red. Mac, who you defeated at the Russian Kingdom, was one of the moral becoming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. He found a star in the castle at the Russian Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? More in the most interesting. Most interesting. It's my style of logical, but I have to sure it's just been that wishing. But now, more than ever, I feel they will play a vital role in the fight with Smithy. Was that too much good, Thor? Would you like your cat now? No, I would not want to get It's quite a situation here, Von Ryan. 
Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Macri was the only person I met. My assignment will be a balancing knife. Follow, you speak as if you can be not concerned. Look up and you find your other defense to do. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tackle. This adventure isn't for me. Model of my foot. I have get this from you until now. But you're not that bull. Say what? I'm sitting here one rainy day, enjoying this naked cricket. I happened to see a basket floating down the falls. I picked inside and saw the baby staring right back at me. The name of Mala was written on his back. I felt sorry for the little bun of puff and took him to any two ways as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic and I knew he was more than a piece of luck. I thought surely this child must be from some far off land. Grand Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. <coughs> Mal Molo. That was not the type of guy. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real friend. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. The boy's magic is sure to go in hand down the adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grab, Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find the real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First go to Rose Town where you may need your help. Sniff. <laughs> there will be quiet around here with the bottle gone. Maybe that's an echo chip here. That's right, I forgot all about it. I'll give you some info if you're freaking funny about that. I know, you shall have this stash. I used to when I was modeled in. The frog is stick will come in handy. Do not. You get to whip it. This is Milo's first weapon that he can equip. Wow. Big attack change. Please. Okay guys, on the next episode we're going to go through Roseway and head towards Rose Town. So I'll see you guys all next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Have a good day. Bye.